We live in an interconnected world where everybody is connected to one another all the time. And leading people all over the world, nations, governments, are figuring out about this, that it's important to get a world-class education. So they've been encouraging, and they continuously do, their students to go abroad to take that top education. You may be able to learn this by sitting at home and reading in a book, but it's not for certain. What is certain, however, is that you can learn this by traveling halfway across the world to study at a place where you can take the course taught by the professor who wrote that book. If you want to know how it is to actually study in the Middle East, ask New York University of Abu Dhabi. If you want to know how, how the lectures and professors are at Princeton, ask Matthias Isman, because they are here and they're here to answer your questions. Seven top educational institutions will be presenting. The co-founder of Nordic Study Abroad Conference will be presenting. Renowned professionals will be presenting and former students will be presenting for you today. And ambition speaks to ambition regardless of line of study, area of interest, or area of expertise. Welcome to Nordic Study Abroad Conference 2013. Employers, especially in a bad state of the world, such as the one that we are now, typically look for the top 10, top 12 university at least. They are strongly present in these places, maybe sometimes just seven, and basically forget about the others. So it's much harder to get into the top companies if you're coming from a place which is foreign somehow, but not truly strong. I was uh, exactly like you guys um, before I started my studies. I really, really wanted to go abroad. So my first thought was, okay, I can't do it. I'm not smart enough. Like these people at uh, all these universities, they are insanely smart, I can't do this. And I seriously don't have any money, what do I do? So I had all these thoughts, and uh, but I was really motivated to go abroad, to learn some more. And it actually proves out it's not that difficult to obtain funding. And especially in the Nordic countries, there's a lot of different funds and they're happy to give out. The thing is that you have to get accepted first. So I went to London School of Economics for a summer. And that was a, an amazing experience and in a lot of ways it's actually changed my life. So as students at NYU Abu Dhabi, without even leaving their residence hall, they are experiencing the world. They're learning about the world, they're learning how to communicate with people from other parts of the world, they're learning about other people's religions and family lives and politics and economic systems. And I think that uh, our students realize that that's an extraordinary way to learn. As, as Nicholas was saying, spending time and spending meaningful time with people who are so different from you, you get a very different kind of education. So we've gone from being in and of the city to in and of the world. Um, because I want to have like subjects I can't have here at Copenhagen University. Um, if you go abroad, you can have, you can open your horizon and like study new subjects and get a bigger perspective. I believe that um, it opens doors um, that wouldn't have been opened if I had stayed in Denmark. And um, there are so many other opportunities outside of um, the country that you've grown up in and you are um, more likely to develop as a human being. Because I think that it would benefit my career and also my person. And I want to be challenged on the norms I've grown up to believe are the only ones. I think that there's a strong academic environment outside of Denmark that I really want to be a part of, and also a lot of career possibilities that universities in Denmark don't offer you in the same way that I also want to be a part of. Um, I don't feel like I'm missing out in Denmark, but I do feel like there's more to be had outside of Denmark. <laughs> very, very quickly, I, I came to absolutely love it. It was, uh, for me, a life-changing and amazing experience. I remember the first thing that happened was you turned up at the university with all the, the predominantly American students. and. Um, the first thing is they give you a course book, and it's about this thick, and it's all online now. But I remember looking at it and thinking, God, I can study all of that. So keep in mind, up until that point in my life, I'd been a very, very mediocre student. And I, I get this book, and my first thought was, if you can't find anything in here that interests uh, to you, you're not interested in life. 
I, I flew across the world and lived for three months in Sydney. This experience was very, very important for me in showing me the importance of not just staying in Denmark, but seeing diff like different parts of the world and really immersing myself in different cultures, different ways of, ways of thinking and meeting people from all around the world. So a personal statement is basically a one-page document in which you describe yourself and state your reasons for wanting to study a particular course. The advice I'd give you as someone who has to read loads of these every year and make admissions decision on that basis is that you want to make it interesting and to the point, but above all, you want to make it personal. It's called a personal statement for a reason. Employers fight to get into institutions in the heart of London, like King's, so that they can get hold of what they know are good students from a good university. And we do want you to lead a King's life when you're at the university. We do encourage you to explore other things. You don't need to be the most all-rounded individual in the world to come to our universities, although it's nice to see that you can do other things other than just your subjects. But when you get to the university, we want to give you as much as possible. You'll get an incredible, you know, you can see new perspective on many things. It will be a transformative experience. Network, amazing experiences, as was uh, told by the previous speakers. So my you could say wish for you all is, is do it, just do it. PwC chose to support the Nordic Study Abroad Conference because we strongly believe in the importance of exchange opportunities. And we definitely want to support all these strong, ambitious, talented people in pursuing their potential and in pursuing their goal of studying abroad. We definitely think that a study abroad will increase people's opportunities to have a better career and definitely also will contribute uh, to creating value for their future employers. An international profile is very important to PwC because we're a very international company and so are our clients. And uh, we definitely believe in order to support our clients the best way, we need people with basically global acumen. And we also believe that you develop professionally and personally by getting international experience. And that benefits us all. So obviously it's important to have an international profile. Nordic Study Abroad Conference is built up on the fundamentals of that we are not for profit and solely founded and now driven by students. NSEC is organized by a diverse and hardworking team, each working with a different area of responsibility. And we volunteer because we share a common vision and aim of informing and motivating ambitious Nordic students about their worldwide opportunities. And, and also it's just a very inspiring and extremely fun process to be part of. Now I'm on the Norwegian team uh, with two other Norwegians. I think the truly amazing thing about NSAC is that um, it really brings you so much closer to the universities and gives you direct contact and the ability to directly communicate with them. Again, for me coming from a small town in Norway and then coming to Copenhagen and meeting university representatives from all over the world, it really gave me uh, the impression that that university isn't so far away and that uh, these possibilities are, well, in fact, possible. This place is also an all-year student community. It's a place where students who have been abroad, who are currently abroad, and who are currently planning to go abroad, are connected at all times and can share their dreams, their tips, their ideas with one another. Hi, I'm Angela from the NZAC team. I'm studying at University of California, Santa Barbara, 
And this is the home of environmental studies. It's where it originated. And it's also been ranked the second leading research university in the world. Hi, my name is Christian, and I'm part of the ANSAC team this year. I'm currently in London, where I'm standing outside the King's College. Hi, uh, I'm Nils, and I am part of the ANSAC team. I'm currently studying my bachelor uh, in team production at Bournemouth University. Hello, I am Catherine from the NSEC team reporting from the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. The word would be opportunities. Ambition. Um, NSEC, in one word for me, would probably be possibility. Uh, Inspiration. Community. It's Pathfinder. That'd be a good word. It's, honestly, the word would be amazing. Because I think it's fantastic to see these people who are here, willing and willing to, er to learn and to try to compare themselves with different cultures and having an international experience. I think that's crucial.